how many times have you wished you had a portable 50 watt radio for rental cars or traveling with someone who's not a ham or traveling with a ham that doesn't have a mobile radio installed in their vehicle and you want something to throw in there temporarily with a magnet mount on the roof and power off of uh, whatever power source is available or maybe a small battery or whatever. You don't want to build anything as big as a full-blown go box uh, which would also contain power supply and battery. You just want the 50 watt radio. Well here's what I did. I got a hold of this housing from a friend that was giving these away and mounted an FT8800 inside in the remote mount configuration with the control head on the front and on the back a BNC connector. I use BNCs for all of my RF connectors and a chassis mount uh, Anderson for power. So inside the case here you can see the 8800 control head and down between the front uh, end of the box and the drawer, the drawer uh, is the mic and uh, a power cord with an Anderson on each end. It's only about three feet long and I've got a cigarette lighter to Anderson adapter cable also in there for uh, rental cars or power source where there's no Andersons available. There's the back of the radio and just a BNC throughput and then a BNC and a short piece of RG58 or whatever that is and then a BNC to uh, UHF adapter. I use BNCs for everything so that UHF adapter is uh, on there with a little drop of Loctite uh, on there just to keep it from coming off. There's inside uh, with the uh, accessories removed. Here's the accessories here, the mic. I always put a piece of shrink tube over the little plastic clip on the mic to help protect it so you don't yank it and tear that clip off because that would mean a new uh, uh, power cord for that, a new mic cord for that. Then here's the power cable and uh, cigarette to uh, Anderson adapter. I use wing nuts like this to hold the box together when I put it together so they're pretty much a quick disconnect. Or a and in operation, here we go. We're running it on a power tool battery with a converter. I did a video for that. It's on Charlie's uh, uh, channel under one of the other Tooge tips, how to do that. And I've seen there's a, quite a few others that have put YouTubes up with using a power tool battery. And then another power option, if you got 120 volts available or 240 or whatever, um, these inline power supplies, power converters, um, you can buy these on Amazon for 20 bucks or less. Um, you need one that's anything between 12 and 15 volts. I think this is a 14. And anything between 7 and 10 amps uh, uh, to run a 50 watt uh, radio on high power. Uh, the FD8800 power consumption is about 7 amps at uh, 50 watts on VHF, about 5 or 6 amps at the lower 30, 40 watts, whatever it is at UHF there. And this little power supply here just runs it just fine. So just uh, more ideas uh, for hams on the go. And here we are in a rental vehicle, sitting on the shotgun seat. Plugged in, using the cigarette lighter to Anderson adapter, magnet mount on the roof, and if there was to be someone riding shotgun, then the box could be moved to back behind the seats, and if needed, the control head could be remoted farther and stuck on the dash, or on the console, I mean, somewhere, somehow. So there we are in the Met rental car operation. Having it in a box like that secures it, 
it makes it where when where you're not going to be dragging the radio across the seat tangling it with the power cord the mic cord the antenna cable as you stretch the mic up to use the mic it stays in place that's the beauty of it it doesn't slide around hope you enjoyed this video seven three